To form the preterite, we have to remember that we have AR, ER, and IR verbs. For example, let's think about cantar, beber, and vivir. Cantar is an AR verb, beber is an ER, and vivir is an IR. You get rid of the ending and you take the beginning of the word, the stem, and you add, in this case, an E, canté, tú cantaste, él cantó, nosotros cantamos, vosotros cantasteis, y ellos cantaron. Beber and vivir are similar. They have the same endings. You uh, get rid of this ending, and the stem of beber is bebí, yo bebí, tú bebiste, él bebió, nosotros bebimos, vosotros bebisteis, ellos bebieron. Same thing with vivir. Yo viví, tú viviste, él vivió, nosotros vivimos, vosotros vivisteis, y ellos vivieron. There are many irregular forms of the preterite. Let's go and see the most important verbs and the ones that you're going to use and listen more in Spanish. El verbo andar, caminar, caber, to fit, estar, to be, haber, to have, hacer, to do, poder, to can, poner, to put, querer, to want, saber, to know, tener, to have, and venir, to come. So, you um, take the stem, for example, for andar is anduve, for, uh, let's take poder. Poder is an ER type verb. You just have to memorize these stems, these new stems, because they're changed. Pudo. En el pasado, I'm going to know if it's an ER verb. Es yo pude. Tú pudiste. El pudo. Nosotros pudimos. Vosotros pudisteis. Y ellos pudieron. ¿Sí? Um, now, I want to take an AR verb to see what happened. Let's see how we're doing with our endings. An AR verb, like andar, caminar. So, what do I do? Get rid of this. Anduve. Tú anduviste. El anduvo, nosotros anduvimos, vosotros anduvisteis, y ellos anduvieron. We also have two very important verbs, decir and traer. They're also going to have a stem changing. They are uh, an IR and ER type of verb. Decir, traer. ¿sí? Como yo traje. ¿sí? Notice the J. Tú trajiste. El trajo. Nosotros trajimos. Vosotros trajisteis. Y ellos trajeron. Same thing aquí, uh, here with decir. To say, right? Yo dije, dijiste, dijo, dijimos, dijisteis, dijeron. So, it changed to a J, it changed to a J. Very important to remember that. Now we have um, stem changes verbs like pedir, dormir, sentir, and seguir. So, the stem of pedir is pedir, and this is an IR type verb. Yo pedí, pediste, pidió, pedimos, pedisteis, pidieron. Um, seguir. Pay, pay attention to this. See? This is where the stem change happened in the third person. Singular and in the third person, plural. Same thing here. The verb dormir, which is very frequently used. I are type verb. It changed to U, E. So, in the, yo, dormí, 
right? No change there. Tú dormiste, pero él durmió. Nosotros dormimos, vosotros dormisteis. And when you get to ellos, the third person plural is going to have a change again. So very important to remember, pedir, dormir, seguir, and sentir. They have a stem changing in the third person, singular and plural. And now, there is a verb that are irregular in the preterite. I'm thinking about dar. Let's look at dar, for example. See? The only thing remaining from the stem of the verb is the letter D. Same thing with ver and with ir. So this is to give, to see, and to go. So, yo di, tu diste, el dio, nosotros dimos, vosotros disteis, and ellos dieron. For ver, it will be yo vi, tu viste, el vio, nosotros vimos, vosotros visteis, y ellos vieron. 